The FIM Ice Speedway World Championship remains in Russia for round three of the 2020 campaign from the Torpedo Stadium in Shadrinsk. Finals five and six provide the last individual action before a three-week break for nations duty. It's also the last week of the Eastern Tour ahead of the series return to Europe. The inclusion of Charlie Ebner in the field of permanent riders means that the Austrian contingent for the World Championship is at its largest in over a decade. The youngster joined by mainstays Franz Zorn and Harold Simon, who have both already played a part in his career journey. When I first started Ice Speedway, I went to the lakes in Sweden with Frankie, and the last few seasons I've been training in Russia with Harold. We speak a lot, particularly in teams competition when we ride together. Hopefully I can learn to start like Frankie and run the inside line like Harold. In Austria, Ice Speedway isn't particularly well known, but Frankie sometimes appears in the newspapers and on TV. And now we're starting to get some young riders, so hopefully we can grow the sport back home. We had a little bit of luck with the selections for 2020 because the FIM chose to take care of the youngsters, and so Charlie got a wild card. Last year, in the Ice Speedway of Nations, he rode really well. Now I'm really happy to see us three Austrian riders for the first time in the Grand Prix. It will be a very good experience for him, and I think he'll do a good job. Returning to the championship in 2020 from spells on the injury list, veterans Franz Zorn and Harold Simon continue to represent Austria well, both eager to prove they have plenty to offer at the sport's highest level. Right from practice in Almaty, I had good speed. I surprised myself, but I knew I could make it to the finals. To get on my first podium was a very special moment, and I was so happy for the whole team. It's hard to describe what a relief it was after such bad injuries in recent years. Last season was awful for me because I had a bad crash and leg injury right at the start in Almaty. Then when I was starting to recover, I had another accident during practice in Insel, and this one was more severe with my hand going into the spikes on the back wheel. It really destroyed my hand and I've spent all summer recovering. Now the idea is to get back to my old level step by step. I'm pleased to be back and if anything I've returned stronger than I expected. Already knowing what a high level Frankie and Charlie are able to ride at, Austrian Ice Speedway is in a strong position. Despite its location over a thousand kilometers east of round two venue Toliati, Shadrinsk is well situated within one of three neighboring ice speedway regions. And the Torpedo Stadium has been well attended since it hosted its first world final in 2017. Shadrinsk is one of two current world championship venues in Russia, the most recent to join the calendar. First time in 2020, the starting lineup is unchanged. Nicholas Svensson making a swift return to action after missing finals three and four in Toliati, while Konstantin Kalenkin completes the lineup as the meeting wildcard. <laughs> Dmitry Kometsevic was the pace setter during the heat stages on day one in Shadrinsk. The Russian dropping just a single point from five rides to top the qualifiers to the semi-final stages. The 2016 world champion's first race win of the day was a last-to-first effort over four laps, in which he only got the better of fellow countryman Dmitry Koltakov in the closing stages. Hans Weber was the other star of the preliminary phase, scoring six of a nine-point haul from the back on his way to the semi-finals. The German picked off father and son duo Stefan and Nicholas Svensson in the space of half a lap in Heat 10 before setting off in pursuit of Dinar Valeyev, only to fall narrowly short of the Russian in the run to the line. Austria's Harold Simon was also in the thick of the action throughout. Heat 12, his most spectacular effort in a duel with wildcard Konstantin Kalenkin. 
both picked off Fran Zorn in the first half of the race to set up a head-to-head -head for victory. Simon taking his only win of the heats after a determined lap three effort, but Kalenkin earning the applause of the local crowd by refusing to give in when relegated to second place. Despite his third ride victory, Simon needed to get the better of Nicholas Svensson in his final outing to progress to the semi-finals. The pair tied on points coming into Heat 18. In the early stages, it was the Swede who had the edge, but he was picked off by Simon on lap three, and his fading hopes were extinguished in the turn four bails just moments later. Simon's early arrival, Konstantin Kalenkin, completed an impressive Heat programme on an 11-point score, never dropping out of the top two. But he's still yet to acquire his gating gloves and he often relies on wheel-to-wheel -wheel combat to acquire his points. All the better for the Shadrins faithful who were treated to an exquisite fourth to second last bend move in Heat 19 from their home man. A surprisingly subdued Martin Harihiltonen was never at the races as he tumbled out in 12th and bottom of the Swedish quartet, none of whom managed to qualify within the top eight on day one in Shadrinsk. Hans Weber and Harold Simon instead joined the Russian six in the semi-finals. Three Russians in each semi-final this stage. Tough to call with little to split them during the heats. Off the inside gate in red, Dmitry Kometsevich, top scorer in the qualifiers. Just one defeat to Daniel Ivanov. Gate two in blue, Igor Kodanov, double winner here in 2017. The championship's first visit to Shadrinsk. Three wins to open his account today. He's tailed off since then. Gate three in white, Konstantin Kalenkin. Third place here last season, the young wildcard. And off the outside gate in yellow, Hans Weber. Grand finalist last time out in Toliati. Can he pull off another Russian miracle? Komet Savic, Kodanov, Kalenkin and Weber. Semi-final number one here in Shadrinsk. Takes rise and away they go. Kononov with the fastest start, but it's Komet Savic who commands the inside line. Shuffles up Kononov and Weber and cutting back off turn number two, Konstantin Kalenkin up into the provisional qualification positions. Kononov immediately into attack formation, looking to the outside line at the end of the opening lap. It's Dmitry Kometsevic who leads it quite comfortably here. Kalenkin looking to the inside line, but the battle now is out at the back. Kononov making himself vulnerable to attack from Hans Weber, and the German comes through at the half race distance. Kometsevic then from Kalenkin, and Hans Weber in with a real shout of a place in the grand final, especially now with Kalenkin getting out of shape, coming off turn number two and going to the back. Weber is up in second place, a major shock here. Two Russians behind him as we head into the final lap. Komet Savic is well and truly gone. Hans Weber fighting for his life now here in Shadrinsk with Kalenkin on the inside, Kononov on the outside. Turn three and four for the final time. It's a race to the line. Hans Weber holds on for a place in the grand final, the third of his career and the second in 2020. A superb performance from the German and a massive shock as well as he moves through to the final alongside Dmitry Komet Savic. Semi-final two, off the inside two gates, both of 2019 Shadrinsk winners, Daniel Ivanov and Dmitry Koltakov. Ivanov, the only man to have made it into every grand final so far this season. Dmitry Koltakov, by contrast, just one final so far in 2020. Gate three in white, Dinar Valeev, beaten by Ivanov and Koltakov in heat five. And off the outside gate in yellow, Harold Simon, the Almaty finalist, a spoiler once again. Ivanov, Koltakov, Valeev and Simon for semi-final number two. Surprises abounding in the opening semi. Will we have more shocks on the card here? Ivanov it is who makes the break. Koltakov immediately settling back to the inside line off turn number two. Harold Simon trying to prize his way up the inside of Dinar Valeev. It doesn't work. The young Russian blocks the line side by side at the front of the field at the end of the opening lap. Koltakov forces his way past Daniel Ivanov. Creates a route up the inside line for Dinar Valeev. Koltakov goes mid-track on turn number two. Valeev has an opportunity here to hit the front. Turn number three with Valeev on the inside. Moving up Koltakov and relegating him down to second place. And Daniel Ivanov has got rather squeezed out in the first half of this one is going to have his work cut out now in the closing stages of semi-final two not least because he's beginning to drop away now from the top two Valeev and Koltakov inside those qualification positions Koltakov nonetheless going on the attack in the closing stages here he's got to be very careful not to allow Daniel Ivanov back into the race but it looks as though Koltakov has got enough in hand and he will be moving through to the grand final alongside Dinar Valeev Valeev takes the chequered flag 
Koltikov second over the line. The massive shock of semi-final number two, the elimination of Daniel Ivanov. The first time in 2020 that he's failed to make a grand final and he's none too happy about that. Dmitry Koltikov and Daniel Ivanov, both three-time world champions, highly competitive riders, but it's Ivanov on this occasion who's been eliminated alongside Harold Simon from semi-final two. A rare elimination for Daniel Ivanov then presents an opportunity to his rivals, particularly Dmitry Kometsevich. Second place in the standings at present. A victory here would cut the gap to just six points. Off gate number two in blue, Dina Valeyev. The winner last time out in Toliati, currently third in the championship standings. Gate three in white, Dmitry Koltikov, the most recent winner here in Shadrinsk. Never yet off the podium in four visits to this track. Mr. Consistency off the outside gate, Hans Weber. Back-to-back -back finals for the spoiler. Is today the day he finally secures the first podium of his career? Komet Savic, Valeev, Koltikov and Weber for the grand final. Final five of the 2020 campaign gets underway. Koltikov with a good jump off gate three, but Komet Savic is the whole shot king and gets there first. Koltikov and Valeev coming together around turns one and two. And it looked to me as though Koltikov had a mechanical problem there and Valeev went straight up the back of him. Well, major surprises here. All four riders have been allowed back for the restart of the grand final here in Shadrinsk. A get out of jail free card there for Dmitry Koltikov. Second opportunity for him then off gate number three. Komet Savic once again gets there first. Again, Koltikov cuts back to the inside line around turns one and two. Valeev gets the run off turn two to pass Hans Weber and can now start to challenge Dmitry Koltikov. They're going either side of the three times world champion. Koltikov moves to block Weber. Through at the end of the opening lap comes Dina Valeev. Can Weber get the cut back now off turn two? No. He goes up the back of Dmitry Koltikov and surely that ends his pursuit of a podium place here in Shadrinsk. Positions beginning to settle down, although saying that, Dina Valeev is closing up on Dmitry Kometsevich, the slightest of mistakes for the 2016 world champion. And the youngster, the hard charger Dina Valeev will be through. Kometsevich riding slightly wider. Valeev looking for an opportunity on the inside line. He's broken clear of Dmitry Koltikov. He doesn't need to worry about defending second position. He can go off in attack in the closing two turns. Comet Savic, though, is smart enough to lock it down on the inside line. Valeev's still got the runoff turn four, but isn't close enough. And it's Dmitry Comet Savic who wins here in Shadrinsk, ahead of Dinar Valeev in second. And Dmitry Koltikov, who returns to the podium. Disappointment for Hans Weber, hooking up with Dmitry Koltikov earlier on in the race. That ruled him out of the podium places. It's Comet Savic, Valeev and Koltikov in an all-Russian podium trio. So after three third places, Dmitry Kometsevich finally takes his first victory of 2020. In the process, gaining eight points on Daniel Ivanov after a rare semi-final elimination. Ivanov dropping just ten championship points all season, eight of them on day one in Shadrinsk. I'm really happy to have finally won a meeting, and now I'm going to prepare for the next one. Igor Kononov's worst finish of the season down in seventh drops him back below Dmitry Koltikov in the rankings. Meanwhile, back-to-back -back grand final appearances for Hans Weber move him above Martin Hara Hiltonen, who's within five points of Harold Simon in sixth overall. Dmitry Kometsevic takes the 13th victory of his career and his first since Toliati 2018. A fine way to reignite his title tilt from just six points down on Daniel Ivanov at the season's halfway mark. Seven of the same eight who had made the semi-final stages on day one did so again at the second time of asking in Shadrinsk. This time, though, Harold Simon struggled, while Martin Hara Hilton and recovered his best form 10-point heat score. The Swede was back on the pace of the Russian favourite, dicing with Dina Valeev in heat 10 before eventually succumbing. Hans Weber qualified in superb fashion, a second seed with three race victories from five rides, despite never really dominating from the start. He weaved his way nicely to the front in a chaotic opening to heat 11 for his second victory of the day and all but confirmed his place in the semi-finals. Then he stunned three-time world champions Dmitry Koltikov and Daniel Ivanov by taking the chequered flag with a pair of opening lap moves in Heat 14. Koltikov had been relegated to the back while out of shape on turn two, while Ivanov was picked off on the top end and was unable to recover from there. 
The final two heats on the programme saw Konstantin Kalenkin and Nicholas Svensson in a race for points in the last of the semi-final positions. The young Russian set the benchmark with two points in heat 19, catching Igor Kononov by surprise in a crucial lap three move. Nicholas Svensson now needed second place in heat 20 to qualify at Kalenkin's expense, but he was overhauled around the first two turns by Hans Weber, despite his best efforts, was unable to recover the two heat points he needed. Just one point separates the top five after the heat stages in Shadrinsk, with countback used to settle their semi-final seedings. All six Russians make it safely through, alongside Hans Weber and Martin Hara Hiltonen. Nicholas Svensson, unfortunate to miss out. The four riders for semi-final one, Dinar Valeyev in red. Three grand final appearances in succession for him. The reigning world number three starting to consolidate that position again this season. Igor Kononov in blue beat both of the men on the outside of him during the heat stages. On paper, he should be moving through. But watch out for Dmitry Koltkov off gate three in white. One point clear of Kononov in the championship standings. He's been uninspiring so far today, it must be said. Only four points from his last three heats. Gate four in yellow, Martin Hara Hiltonen, the Swedes' fourth semi-final appearance of 2020. He hasn't made a final, though, since the opening day of the 2019 campaign. Valeev, Kononov, Koltkov and Hara Hilton and semi-final one gets underway. Kononov with a good jump off gate number two and it's Igor Kononov who gets there first. And Dinar Valeev now scrapping for second position on the inside of Dmitry Koltkov coming off turn number two. Koltkov tries to move across the front of him but Valeev's got the run and is going to pass the pair of them there to hit the front at the end of the opening lap. Great move that one from Dinar Valeev. Now Igor Kononov's gone up to the outside line and he's got to watch out here. How many times over the years have we seen Igor Kononov go up to the outside line only to be overhauled? This is for a place in the grand final. Koltkov trying for all he's worth here. Knows it's worth extra points in the championship. Martin Hara Hilton and isn't out of it either. He's keeping up the pressure. Kononov building up plenty of momentum over the last lap around the outside line though. And now that he's broken clear of Dmitry Koltkov, he can start to pick his racing line. He's got to avoid errors in the closing stages because both Koltkov and Hara Hilton are close by him. Kononov up to the outside line. Koltkov goes the short way round, almost gets there. But it's Valeev and Kononov who move through. Koltkov and Hara Hilton eliminated from semi-final number one. Fine move at the end of the opening lap from Dinar Valeev to come through from third to first and book safe passage to final six. The first time a rider from outside of Russia has ever qualified inside the top two for the semi-final stages. A giant killing performance so far from Hans Weber, who goes in red for this one. Dmitry Kometsevich alongside him, winner in four out of five of his semi-final appearances so far this season. Gate three in white, Daniel Ivanov, fifth in final five, fifth in the semi-final seedings today. The reigning world champion struggling to repeat his early season exploits so far this weekend. This, a potential banana skin. Konstantin Kalenkin completes the lineup. A finalist last season, sixth here yesterday. An outsider, but a contender here. Weber, Comet Savic, Ivanov and Kalenkin. Weber has completely missed the start. Comet Savic gets there first, tracked around the outside line by Daniel Ivanov. Cutting back off turn two is Konstantin Kalenkin. And Ivanov is relegated outside of the provisional qualification positions. Are we in for another shock here? Comet Savic from Kalenkin. Ivanov around the outside line here into turn number one. Watch out for Hans Weber at the back, cutting back around the inside. He's got out of shape though, and down he goes. Real disappointment, the Germans' challenge ends here in semi-final two. Weber's somewhat inevitable disqualification also gives a second opportunity here to Daniel Ivanov. It's Komet Savic, Ivanov and Kalenkin. Riders in blue and yellow were in the qualification positions at the time of the stoppage. The rerun gets underway. Good start from Komet Savic. Kalenkin was immediately looking to cut back to the inside line, but Daniel Ivanov was wise to that. And Konstantin Kalenkin, who did such a great job on the opening lap in the first running of semi-final number two, getting a bit out of shape around the top bend there at the end of lap one at the second time of asking. He's not far behind Daniel Ivanov at this stage of the race. Dmitry Kometsevich looking comfortable out in front, gets a bit of a bobble around turns three and four, has to look over his shoulder coming off the pits bend just to check on the progress of Daniel Ivanov. 
There's not much to choose between the top three here. Kalenkin almost alongside coming off turn number two. Ivanov now runs narrow into three. Kalenkin's going to get the cut back off turn number four. And Daniel Ivanov is relegated outside of the top two. Kalenkin looking over his shoulder, bobbles around turns one and two. Ivanov gets back up the inside coming off the second bend. And what a relief that's going to be for Daniel Ivanov. Turns three and four, Kalenkin pushing hard, but he's not going to get there. Daniel Ivanov saves his place in the grand final alongside Dmitry Kometsevich. Not for the want of trying for the young Russian Konstantin Kalenkin, who is only narrowly eliminated from semi-final number two. All three of 2020's winners meet here for final six, an all-Russian lineup for this one. Dina Valeyev, winner of final four in Toliati. Today's top scorer, he goes in red off gate one. Dmitry Kometsevich, final five winner off gate two again. He took the whole shot in semi-final two from there. Gate three in white, Igor Kononov, the odd one out so far in this quartet. Third place from final four in Toliati, his best this season so far. Looking for his first victory since Almaty 2017. Daniel Ivanov, the championship leader, winner of the opening three finals in 2020, goes off the outside gate in yellow. So four of the top five in the series standings at the season's halfway mark, lining up for this season's last World Championship race in Russia. Valeev, Kometsevich, Kodanov and Ivanov, the sixth final of the 2020 campaign here in Shadrinsk. Gets underway. Kononov with the fastest start off gate three. Valeev also away well. Kometsevich looking for the cutback off turn two. Can't quite get there. Valeev breaks on the inside line. Kononov up to the outside. Side by side as they come off turn four. Kononov brave with that outside line. He's managed to tough it out for the entire lap distance. And Valeev can't quite get through. Again, challenging to the inside into turn number three. Kononov so vulnerable when he favours that outside line. Valeev not quite fast enough to pick his way through for the moment at least. That presents an opportunity to Dmitry Kometsevich. Kometsevich though bobbling coming off turn two. Valeev gets the nicer slingshot off the bend. And again into the closing stages. It's Valeev challenging, Kononov leading. Kometsevich now with the run. Valeev getting into problems coming off turn four. Daniel Ivanov side by side with Dmitry Kometsevich. It's all going on in this grand final. Ivanov comes through, hits a rut, moves Kometsevich out of the way and gets there for third place. Great racing in that grand final. I really thought Dina Valeev had the legs up the inside line, but Igor Kononov doesn't just win it, but does so in fine style. His first victory for almost three years. It's Igor Kononov who takes the chequered flag. Late disqualification of Daniel Ivanov. That's going to cost him two points in the context of the championship for exceeding track limits on the opening lap. Having been second in the heats then, Hans Weber unfortunate to walk away with just nine points after his semi-final fall. Meanwhile, further down the order, Uwe Ledstrom puts in his best result of the season so far with 10. It was a really tough race because I'm suffering from a shoulder injury and I still haven't got back to full strength. In the end, though, the final was quite easy to win, so I still can't really believe it. It was like magic. By failing to make the podium on either day in Shadrinsk, Daniel Ivanov loses 10 points of his hard-earned lead in just one round. Martin Hari Hilton and Hans Weber both close on Harold Simon in the battle for best of the rest in sixth. The fourth different winner in four finals and just nine points cover the medal positions in 2020. The series now takes its mid-season break for Nations action before returning in four weeks' time for the visit to Germany, the penultimate round of the campaign.